Hello, friends, and welcome back to Storytime. I'm Mr. Zach from EVPL Programming and Outreach. I'm so glad you could join me today because I am very excited to share my Christmas tree with all of you. I had so much fun decorating it, but now I get to do my very favorite wintertime activity, get cozy and read some books by my tree. Come on. Let's get our story time started with a rhyme about opposites. Let's see, there's slow, like a snail creeping along, and there's fast, like a running mouse, and there's up, see how the snail goes up my arm, and there's down, there's the little mouse running down. Ready? Here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly to his little house. Great job. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly to his little house. Wonderful job. Awesome. Uh-oh. It looks like my tree isn't lit up anymore. The power must have gone out. That can happen sometimes during snowy winter days, and that is exactly what happens to the family in this book, Snow Globe Wishes by Erin Dealey. Let's read it together. Lights go out. Fierce clouds blow in. Garlands fly on frozen wind. Lost connections, phones, computers, bundled homeward bound commuters. Traffic slows, roads disappear beneath the worst storm of the year. See all the cars? They're in a traffic jam. Picnic dinners, candlelight, darkness draws us close tonight. They're having a picnic in their living room. That sounds like fun. You see, they have some candles lit because the power is out. They can't turn on their lights. Blanket forts, crawl in, scoot over, kitten purrs. Me too, barks Rover. That looks like a fun place to be with your family inside a warm blanket fort. Snow globe wishes, close your eyes, snow plows rumble lullabies. Everyone's sleeping in their blanket fort. Then slowly stretching morning yawns, look, Brilliant skies, rose golden dawn. Wake up, a whisper from the snow. Do you hear its soft hello? There they are putting the blanket fort away and having some breakfast on that snowy morning. Magic sparkles, beckons, swirls. Come outside, dear boys and girls. Children hear it best, they say, but what if on this snow globe day, families shake their busy lives, heavy doors fling open wide? And out they go, ones, twos, threes, fours, in cities, towns, and right next door, outside to winter's wonderland. Who will be the first to grab a hand that grabs a hand and then another? Neighbors, strangers, sisters, 
brothers? What if, dear friends, on this snow globe day, everyone comes out to play? There they all are, standing and holding hands. To share a smile, to catch the spirit, laugh until the world can hear it, and pass it on as bright eyes glisten. Do you hear what they hear? Listen. Peace on earth, right now, right here. Peace for all throughout the year. The end. You can see on this very last page, the dog and the cat are looking inside a snow globe. Snow globe wishes. That was a wonderful book. Oh, good. <laughs> the power is back on. The holidays can be a really busy, stressful time for everybody, even though the holidays are a lot of fun. Let's read a book about a little llama who has had enough of the holidays. Our next book is called Llama Llama Holiday Drama, and it was written by Anna Dudney. Let's read it together. Llama Llama Holidays. Jingle music lights ablaze. Sparkly candles, yummy bread, dress up clothes in green and red. How long till that special date? Llama Llama has to wait. No one likes waiting. Llama Llama holidays. Ads and signs and store displays. Fluffy snow and funny elves. Goodies piled high on shelves. Just how many days to go? Llama Llama wants to know. Time to buy and search and shop. Mama carries, Llama drops. He got tired. Buy a friend a rubber duck, pirate ship or tractor truck, wooden blocks or building set. What will Llama Llama get? Llama Llama holidays. Hustle, bustle, cooking craze, measure sugar, roll the dough, ten more batches left to go. How many more days again? That special day is coming when? It's hard to be patient, isn't it? Take the cookies out to cool. Frost a great big batch for school. Add some sprinkles. Almost done. Teacher gets the fancy one. No more cookies left to bake. Llama Llama, tummy ache. Why do you think Llama has a tummy ache? I think maybe Llama Llama ate too many cookies. School has dreidels, songs and bells. Big red ribbons, woodsy smells. Draw a snowman, make a star. Decorate a candle jar. Are there many days to go? Llama time is going slow. Mama needs a present too. Get some sparkles, sticks, and glue. Roll it up and wrap it how? Llama wants to give it now. And there's the present he made for his mom. Maybe it's a snowflake. Llama Llama holidays, unpack stockings, unwrap trays, shiny silver, fancy plates, Llama Llama waits, waits, waits. Llama looks a little tired of waiting. Cut out snowflakes, tape them up, pour some eggnog in a cup. Oops, it's yucky on the floor. Llama Llama waits some more. Stringing lights is not much fun. How come Mama isn't done? Is the big day coming soon? Llama Llama starts to swoon. 
All this waiting for one day? Time for presents right away. Too much music, too much fluff, too much making, too much stuff, too much everything for llama. Llama, llama, holly drama. Poor llama, llama. Swooned. That's what it looks like when you swoon. You fall over. Come and listen, little llama. Have a cuddle with your mama. Sometimes we should take a rest and hold the ones we love the best. Who do you think Mama Llama loves the best? Wishing, waiting, wanting things. We forget what this time brings. Gifts are nice, but there's another. The true gift is we have each other. Llama Llama, warm and snug, gives a kiss and gets a hug, snuggles close with Mama Llama. Happy holidays for Llama. The end. All right, now that we have rested for a little while with Llama, let's get back to work and join Olivia as she helps out with Christmas. And there's a lot to do, so we had better get started. This is Olivia Helps with Christmas by Ian Falconer. Twas the day before Christmas. Olivia and her family had been out all morning, busy with last-minute shopping. Olivia was exhausted, but there was still so much to do. There's poor exhausted Olivia. Olivia told her father and Ian to put up the tree so that she could help her mother with William's lunch. Olivia, what are you feeding him? Blueberry pie. Oh, darling, that's gonna make him <gasps> sick. Whoops. It did make him sick, didn't it? By four o'clock, Olivia was getting impatient. It is hard to wait on the day before Christmas, isn't it? Sweetheart, Santa won't be here for hours, said her mother. Now wipe that soot off your snout and help me untangle these lights. There's Olivia untangling the lights. She's having a little trouble, isn't she? And what's she shout here? Mommy! She needs her mommy to come get her out. Uh, darling, it's much easier if you plug them in first. There. Isn't that better? Finally, the tree was trimmed. Hmm. Our trees look a lot alike, don't they? They have red and green ornaments just like mine. 5 p.m. Santa watch. No Santa. Rain. Olivia wanted to be even more of a help. Mommy, may I set the table for Christmas Eve dinner? Oh, yes, Olivia, that would be very helpful. There's the weather outside. It's raining. Why, that's beautiful, darling. Wherever did you find that perfect little... What's Olivia's mommy looking at? The... Little bitty tree on the table, right? Tree? Can you see what Olivia did to the Christmas tree? She cut the top off of it, didn't she? I don't think that was exactly helpful of her. <clears throat> Would you like to help me build a fire, Olivia? Daddy, what could you be thinking? Do you want to cook Santa? I guess Olivia doesn't want to build a fire. 7 p.m., Santa watch. No Santa, but no rain. Well, at least it stopped raining. After dinner, the family gathered to sing carols. Softly, they started... They started 
Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. Olivia always lets go for the chorus. Gloria! Do you think Olivia is a good singer? Maybe she's, maybe she's more like me, she's just loud. Finally, the most important task of the night, leaving treats for Santa Claus. Olivia said, now it's time to wait. Her mother said, uh, now it's time for bed. What kind of treats is Olivia leaving for Santa? Some cookies and a glass of milk. I hear Santa likes that. But Olivia wasn't all that sleepy. She tossed and she turned. First she was hot, then she was cold. Then she heard something on the roof. Could it be Santa? Let's look on this other page here. Who is eating the cookies and milk? Looks like the dog got a little bit. Hope there's still some left for Santa. Now let's find out who was on the roof. Was it Santa? Or maybe a raccoon? It seemed she would never get to sleep until she woke up and saw that it was morning. Olivia ran to get her brothers. Noiselessly, they crept down the stairs. Snow! Look what happened overnight. Snow fell. Presents! That's even more fun than snow. Stockings! And look, cried Olivia, Santa ate all the cookies and milk. Who ate the cookies and milk? Do you remember? That dog. Now children, said Olivia's mother, finish your breakfast and then you can open your presents under the <gasps> tree. Looks like they didn't wait to open their presents, did they? And look who else is going over to the tree, the baby. Dad says, it looks like someone just learned to walk. Some of Santa's offerings were better than others. Pajamas, skis, sweater, sled, booties, maracas. There's what everyone got for Christmas. The children thanked their parents for a wonderful Christmas, and Olivia announced, now I have a present for you. It's a self-portrait. Won't it be beautiful over the fireplace? There's Olivia's amazing self-portrait. I really like the lime green background. Well, said Olivia, I think I'll hit the slopes. There she goes in her skiing outfit. How'd she do hitting the slopes? Looks like maybe she is having a tough time. Skiing takes more practice. Olivia and Ian worked all afternoon to make a snowman. Olivia dressed it. That evening, Olivia finally allowed her father to build a fire. The family sat and warmed their trotters while Olivia's mother brought them steaming mugs of hot soup. Soon it was time for bed, but Olivia wasn't at all sleepy. Or so she said, but before the lights were even out, she fell into a deep, dreamless slumber. Well, not quite dreamless. I think Olivia is dancing in a ballet in her dreams. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. Olivia Helps with Christmas. That was a great book. Before we say goodbye today, let's say a rhyme together about our five senses. 
Do you know what your five senses are? Let's see, there's touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now that we know our five senses, let's say our rhyme together. Ready? Little brown bear went searching for some honey. It feels so sticky and it tastes so yummy. So she looked through the trees and she sniffed at the breeze and she listened for the bees, but they wouldn't give her any till bear said, please. Great job, let's do it one more time, ready? Little brown bear went searching for some honey. It feels so sticky and it tastes so yummy. So she looked through the trees and she sniffed at the breeze and she listened for the bees, but they wouldn't give her any till bear said, please. Great job. That was wonderful, everybody. Thank you so much for reading and learning with me today. You can find more programs and story times like this one by subscribing to EVPL's channel and by following us on social media at EVP Library. And don't forget to check out our other digital resources at evpl.org.